Hi, old beaver! Away! Good evening, everyone. My name is Grumpy Coy, and welcome to Season 36, Division 1 Week 2 coverage by Critzcast. I am not alone, though. I am joined by Weehoof on Production and Buck284. Is that correct? Almost. 824. I get Ooh. numbers right way, promise. But yes, we are we are casting this game between Five Guys, Burgers and Fries, and Beast Mode. But we are going to be going live in a second, so actually let's just quickly get a prediction just off based off this. Who do you think is going to take Sunshine? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking Beast Mode. I've got to be biased towards my boy Deli. He's played for me in the past, so I've got to be biased there. Okay, I'm going to go against you. I'm going to say Five Guys, Burgers and Fries. But uh, if you want to take it away on this first mid for me. Yeah, we've got Deli sort of run up through this show. Got some early sticks over cross, but... So we're going to be chilling on this roof for now. Just going to grab a set until near the show. We've got an early jump in from Jordy onto this uh, quad tower area, but I mean, it's sort of some early point pressure. I'm like, coming from Chris to kind of counter jump into that, but more than soldiers jump, jumping across training positions here, and then there we go, two picks already. Good work from wow. Sills there to go across, but sadly, five guys, burgers, and fries do get one pick, but end up getting completely collapsed on by beast mode kind of off that seals seals play he does go down but just that pressure he created getting the med just meant that they could clean house really really quickly yeah really well played by him and uh i mean got this early pressure and i got massive ad obviously coming in here since the med died so it's gonna be sticking at the point uh, on this defense but i have to see how they try and trade this in they're not really they're gonna try and rotate to this top right position right now uber comes in gonna be even demo and the scout they're gonna try to stick off the shutters go straight to the medic medic goes down there but they're still got these sticks on the point and it's gonna go for these frags delhi huge amount of dm coming out of him as he does get cleaned up by opti but he's done the work he needs to completely deny them and that's gonna be the first round very quickly to beast mode yeah, that mid was just very decisive there, just uh, that complete pressure in, getting that uber through, ubering early, not dropping anyone, and uh, yeah, Delhi doing a massive play there on that last. Yeah, it's, it's really, really difficult there. They had a decent idea of setting up with the Heavy and Sniper, but they weren't able to get in position in time, and as soon as they ubered in, the Heavy was already rotating, so he got completely cleared out. Sniper didn't even get a single shot off, but we're coming into the second mid right now. Chris goes in a bit deep and does get cleaned up, and now we see a little bit of high ground coming out of Jordan and Opti. Oh, they do get some decent damage as Crayon helps, and five guys, burgers and fries, taking a nice, easy mid there. Sorry for taking that away from you, my friend Buck, but that was quite intense as fun. <laughs> Just nothing. Choice. He chose for it. Unlucky both ones. But yeah, that, that was, um, yeah, uh, early bombing from Chris there. Almost got the demo, so almost got to made that play happen. But yeah, after that, it was just a 6v5, and then the sort of double uh, pressure onto the show there, onto Grabber, and he ends up uh, going down there. So well, 100% in the bank for rounds. It was, it was actually three people pressuring it. It was Jordy, um, Crayon, and Opti all running into that choke. So, Jesus. yeah, it's not great for Grabber. He really didn't have much of much of anything, but they're coming in on the right hand side right now, Buck, looking to deal with that sentry gun, and we're going to see some little fights coming out of those soldiers. Ooh, I mean, Chris managed to actually uh, get out there, fortunately, on very low health, but I mean, they take up this gun, I could not manage to defend that, but decent defense is coming in so far, it's got a 3v3 though, but everyone's sort of out, scouts are still in though, so I was just trying to spam on the point, 1v1 between the scouts, but I'm going to try and get the better of this, but there we go, the silver spam comes in to clean that up, so uh, just a clutch defense right there. Yeah, a lot of 1v1 fights coming out of five guys, burgers and fries. And as a result, they just started losing players. Good good cleanup by funds and crew in beast mode. But there's a lot of pressure. Jordy's looking to put a lot of pressure in. He's actually gone behind. Funds is going to chase, going to clean him up. So now they are 5v6 right now. And it's not good to lose that. Ooh. Chris does go in, manages to get Kalade. Yeah, it just sort of serves it around the show there, just kind of uh, taken completely by surprise. I don't know if they even saw him because uh, Clay definitely was not in a position to uh, surf that out or anything. So they're going to try and take this pressure in already with Delhi and grab her through the choke. A bit of a cow bomb in through, uh, or from Geordie, just onto this fence area to spam them out. But I mean, yeah, decent amount of ad here for Grabber. Yeah, and that, that ad could be something they can use. Sunshine's one of those weird maps in sixes because it can be really slow in certain, certain like, play styles or extremely quick and beast mode. I wanted to take this very, very quick. Seal's actually creating that space. As they do push in, like this will be perfect if they don't Uber. 
Like, if they can keep this Uber right now, which it looks like they can, take this into last really, really quickly, just go straight and left with Delhi. It could be a really good play from them. Just using that, oh, they, they're, not they're not confident of the ad, even though they've also got funds down. Snipers up on Opti. Yeah, they decided to take it slower. They could have they could have gone quick, but with funds funds that they decided not to go as quick, sadly. Yeah, I think it was probably smart from Grubber if he was counting it. Um, like, I, I think it would have been too risky because at the out of that point probably would have been like only like 15, 20%. And then they, by the time they'd already committed, they could have just cut it back to the spawn and come back in with an ad. But there we go, Ooh. huge opening pick there from funds. Funds uh, channeling the Mr. M Mr. Epic. Yeah. Plays from his old teammate as they go in. Delhi is Ubered. They do manage to get on to Crayon. And where is the rest of five guys? Oh, God. <laughs> that was so under. weird. Yeah. Jordy went under to try and kite the Uber. Everyone else is in the spawn. And then, like, there's a scout shooting sticks on the point for like 10 seconds. And then didn't manage to try and block it. But there was too many players by that point. So, really well played by uh, Beast Mode. They're, they're dominating this game right now, Buck. It seems very difficult for Five Fast. Guys. Yeah, Five Guys are not able to get control of this at all, and Beast Mode are just playing fast. That's why I, I thought that they'd go for the play they did, but it turned out to be the right play. As they're, uh, the post people fights are pretty consistent here, as we see some bombs come in, ooh, and oh, Crayon straight on. Grabber and Opti going super low as well. They're going to have to play passive now with Mac coming out of flowers with his medic. But they got a pick, they got that advantage and that's all they need. Yeah, Khaled did a nice surf there actually trying to get out, but Grabber was kind of just in that sort of um, cafe uh, balcony area, wasn't able to really surf it to anywhere, so got spammed out there and uh, went going down. So Khaled on a nice ad here, even on this defensive stance. So I'll have to see if they try and take this in very soon. Yeah, they, they're gonna wanna, they're gonna wanna take it in, especially with this 90% ad, just to try and get on to Grabber. Even if, even if it's a case of not using the Uber, but just using the pressure that they have at Uber to, to get that space into mid, that could be really, really good for them. Because they're obviously going to be playing passive, trying to get the force. So right now, checking for traps out of AF right now. He does take quite a lot of the damage as he's pushing forward. But like I said, Buckler, they're really not wanting to use. Oh, they had to use. They have to chase this out. AF is already going in. But he's not oh being followed. Yeah, they've lost that Uber advantage. That was well played by Beast Mode. Yeah, that was a bit of a travesty. I mean, they tried to walk in there. wasn't any more of the pressure coming in, though. And uh, Jordy tried to do his best to try and force them out. And um, yeah, there we go. Going to be three down in return. And they still haven't used their Uber as they come in here into this sort of lighthouse area. Yeah, it's just a lot stronger. Delhi trying to trap off, denied them coming out of the shell and not able to catch them. But again, it just feels like Beast Mode are a lot more in control right now. They came in with that Reaper really, really nicely. They knew that they dealt enough damage to cause this chaos. But Five Guys, Burgers and Fries are not even out yet. And finally, Opti comes out with the Pyro. But it took them so long to come out. They were taking so much spam. And Delhi almost goes down. Chris is going to get cleaned up by the mobile sentry gun that is the heavy. As the off classes do prevail, but now they're going to be swapping out. As uh, oh, Jordy goes in deep, trying to get on the sills. As they're trying to push forward, I didn't expect him to be that deep out. Yeah, he's been pretty aggressive this game actually. So I've just always uh, been the first one in all the time. But here we go. We've got a big idea actually for Clade. Trying to walk in here again, but um, Grabber's positioning on that last push was kind of interesting because he went to the low ground and managed to just barely climb out and get out and get some decent arrows into Delhi. But here we go. There's an Uber going to be going into this mid area. And that Uber is gonna have to be, yeah. That's, again, they they've caused themselves to just be at a huge disadvantage from these plays. Like they're not they're not able to really capitalize on anything that any sort of advantage. And Beast Mode have now just got a full advantage for themselves. Delhi's gonna trap them out. Look at that oh, chase! Oh, Jesus. That was a huge jump from Delhi. Oh my god, it's all the way around the bar. I thought Kale was gonna get out for this for the show, but then no. Delhi's fully uh, fully Ubered there, it's gonna be trying to stick that off. But there we go. Uh, massive play there from uh, the soldiers actually from uh, five guys. But the main thing with that, especially when it got all Geordies coming in, trying to have some sort of mid fight right now, he doesn't it's manage to connect happen. anything, it's him versus the world. But no, um, Big up to Clade for realizing that he was going to get sticked off and he tried to go through dungeon. I don't know if you saw that, but the moment, yeah. 
like he turned away and it was great response from Delhi to see that happen. Because a lot of demos are so focused on trapping off that shutter that they forget that the med can go down there. And uh, obviously these guys are high tier players, but it can it can happen to the best of them. I've seen it happen at LAN, especially with um, when there's a lot of pressure going on. We are only on week two, so a lot of this is just aiming for playoffs as the sentry gun does go down, but how would you push into this last? Uh, that's, a, that's a bad question to ask me because I don't really play sixes. Uh... <laughs> just, 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 mate, you've probably got more knowledge on the game than I do. Oh no, Opti goes oh, down God. to Delhi. Oh, Delhi, Delhi gets killed though. I mean, I know, you kind of need the demo and the Ubers here to try and chop off the spawns, but I mean, they've got the sentry gun. I don't know, mine switched off now, but. Oh, Crown! Oh, what God. A shot! As he gets the clean onto Chris, now he's dealing Clay. a decent amount of damage. Kalega done really low there. Could be keeping his Uber now for now. I don't know if he was actually in a position to force there, like what percent he was on, but uh, yeah, he did a, did a good job there getting out in fairness. So uh, that's going to be pretty big for the moment. Grab it gets forced. By Crayon, that's big. The five guys, burgers and fries. But Mac is so far forward that he's going to die. No, this is perfect for Delhi to go in. They're going to have to force them. Silks gets that fourth. Now they need to chase out get players. Kalaid is going forward with Jordy, seeing if they can get onto anyone. It's fitted out and the entire of Beast Lord is now collapsing onto them. Jordy's gonna get cleaned up. Opti is in behind trying to get onto oh God. the soldier. He just managed to get it. Now he's got a scout behind him. He gets that one as well. Got Opti on the fragging spear right now. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Anka had no idea what was going on there, bless him. He just got slapped. Yeah, I didn't even see him in behind until like way too late but yeah he was just on a bit of killing spree there he's, he's, he's not stopping he's keeping going like Delhi's trying to ward him off but uh to no avail he's kind of just holding W on him he gets him down very low nice arrow from Grabber that's keeping him alive the man walks out though no! and just instantly dies that's that's not what you want now Funz is trying to clean up some bombs coming in behind us they do get okay, clean up okay, oh, want, Funz? there's a scout back oh you. no Okay, using your brain, <laughs> who'd have thought it? There we go, we're gonna get on the last one absolute beast play from him to just back cap that, but... God, I feel sorry for Opti after that play, man. Yeah, Opti, Opti is a phenomenal scout. Like, a absolutely phenomenal scout. So, it doesn't surprise me that he performed the way he did. But it was just so messy, everyone was everywhere, yeah. and... Don't want to be letting players uh, sneak in like that, but we're coming into this fourth mid. Do you want to take it away, Buck? Yeah, got sort of just uh, some early sort of mid-roof pressure here. Got sort of going just right onto Grabber. Surfs it all the way out though. Lots of pressure into this choke area. And three going oh, down no. already. Wow. That was, uh, <laughs> that was over in a split second. <laughs> that was everyone for Grabber there. And Kool-Aid is perfectly fine. He's backing out, but they've got that Uber ad. But, <laughs> again, I'm, I'm worried about... Uh, five guys, burger and fries. How they're going to use this Uber because yeah. their, their Ubers or their plays into mid with Uber advantage have been pretty weak so far, and it's just caused like re pushes coming out of um, out of beast mode. As uh, Delhi does go down to Jordy, so they're using that pressure again. They haven't been forced, so this is really really nice from them. And it looks like they're backing all the way out into second. Jordy looks like he wants to chase with his team going forward. Again, gets four. That looked yeah. like, was that a seal? Or, or Chris? Yeah, Chris, Chris threads the needle there. Going to manage to find that's a really well played by him. But yeah, with Delhi going down there, they did probably the right thing. Just going to be holding the WP in, no risk of getting trapped. But um, I mean, they return this, this Uber ad to beast mode now. Um, but I mean, they have got them on this sort of last point for once. So I mean, the tides have kind of turned. So I've seen them play this. Well, it, it depends how they're going to work it. We see Uka picking up that. Sniper, and I don't like Sniper on this map. I really don't. The angles aren't that great. I'm more mm. of a, I'm more of a like heavy, or even Pyro is great uh, fun on this map. Sure. Like, oh my god, Chris. Okay, just two v one in the soldiers, and I'm winning. <laughs> Obviously, getting cleaned up by funds as well. Oh, this is this is not good. This for is the guys that originally had ad and they're getting bombed on by seals. They're gonna get forced. Oh god! Oh god! Miscommunication. Scout wanted to go in. Demo wanted to get out. And now they're gonna try and run for the life through cafe. But there's not really anyone chasing really. Chris picks up someone in flowers. So yeah, I don't know. A bit of miscoms coming in from uh, five guys. 
I, I have to say, the Irish boys, Chris and Crayon, right, respectively for their teams, are doing a huge amount of work. And it feels like the soldier combo on beast mode is just a little bit more consistent in some of their fights. Funs just gets popped into the stratosphere and dies. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Clean. Everyone's super low. Opti manages to get onto Grabber. Now chasing onto Sylves. That's really bad for beast mode to be so spread out. Opti punishing them accordingly. And Jordy picking up that last bag with Delhi down as well from Ah. Both scouts putting in work for five guys, burgers and fries. And they're Again. looking to go into last now. Grabber going down there is going to be the major thing. But there we go, Jordy is eventually firing me. They're already three down at this point. There's going to be trouble walking. There we go. Okay. Okay. Going down instantly. Big cap for them. So there we go. They're trying to even it up there. But really well played actually in that one sort of fight from uh, five guys. They are, they are getting a little bit more consistent in their fighting, it, it must be said. Like, Opti and Aph, when they get going, they're terrifying. You can see that both of them can just pop off and start cleaning up kills. I feel like, for both teams, there are these little bits of miscommunication where one player wants to go in and the other one wants to leave. And it yeah. seems to be, with five guys, always the scouts. But uh, on this mid right now, Buck, we're going to be seeing things set up kind of slowly right now. Yeah, got some slow bombing, although there we go, Karan comes in, trying to grab it with the help of the scout, going down very quickly there, so Plague is still up trying to heal the rest of his players in here, gets spammed out by the soldier, got two players actually already in flowers for beast mode as the, as the soldier goes down there, but I don't know, Clay being alive here might try and change this battle, but I mean, it's like a 5v3, so I don't know how this is going to go. Mac is now having a 1v1 with the scout, okay, fine, he's just, oh. he's just causing chaos. <gasps> Oh, it, no way. He gets he's gonna get out. He's gonna get out. Whoa. He doesn't care. Oh, he nearly walks into a trap. It doesn't matter. He sees it. I was. I held my breath because I thought he was gonna catch the med there. And the Uber comes out. They're not able to collect anyone. Still lands a beautiful rocket. And now Jordy's just separated. Oh. Is he gonna get Minecraft? No ah, way. The bait. No the way. The bait into Opti. Oh, and he goes down anyway. God, he should. Yeah, I think he could have rocket jumped out. Oh, no, that was a bit lazy from Jordy after that play. But yeah, I mean, he stayed alive there. <laughs> managed to get two. Insane. Oh my god, that's so good. As uh, Beast Mode are gonna get backed out for mid. Chris kind of showing his face, looking like he wants to do something. Sills. Oh. Also in. Oh. oh god, they even are very early. Very early, but then I might get caught in here. Ooh, gets the pipe that's trying to deny that scout. Seals on the med. Oh god. Ooh, the the air. Run, the the run. Oh, no, no, he's gonna get cleaned up. No <laughs> way he's surviving Ooh. that. Nice rocket from Jordy onto the scout that helps clean him up. But it's 2v4 right now, and the mid is on the point. Both scouts gonna be going, maybe going for the mid here. Trying to make up their mind. Nice arrow from Grabber. Up to the scout, do some damage there. Might help clean him up. Oh, and he lives on 11 health. Huge play from Grabber. Oh, staying alive. When you hit that, me and Bia were talking about it yesterday, that, that rhythm as a medic, where you're perfectly moving in the opposite way to where, where the scout is trying to aim, is one of the, the most beautiful things to watch. Hitting all the arrows. That's all. It's the momentum, man. It's the momentum. Just keeps it going. Keeps the keeps the game alive. And I mean, they're free one up at this point, so you know, the momentum is still there for beast mode. It's just a matter of sort of closing it off, having that closure. As uh, Delhi's trying to close off this uh, left side with the sticks, but they're going to think about going right side. I think with this, or maybe under the super, essentially. Yeah, they might be going for some sort of dungeon play. They're thinking about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're going in. Delhi gets suspended by the oh, tree. No. Oh no, he gets cleaned up by the trap. Fun's going to clean up one. Are they going to be able to get the heavy? They are. Opti's going to go down as well with the last thirteen players. It doesn't matter. Because they lost their demo. Who needs a demo? <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't. Because they, it's really, really good, like, calls. You can see that they're focusing down the right players at the right time. They're calling who they're trying to clean up. And I feel like Funz is going to have a big play onto that, just from his experience. You can kind of see that even though Delhi went down, he kind of still led the charge. He didn't hesitate at all or panic. And some teams do that a lot. <laughs> As I say that, Chris, onto Mac. He is going to die. Uh, plus the same mid as the second mid, and they actually lost that mid, so we'll have to see if they can uh, have a different result this time. Early bombs into Grabber, gonna be trying to surf out through Flowers, not really with the rest of his team, as there's a bit of a DM fest going on in the mid right now while the meds are backed out, but 
Uh, both meds actually on 46%, not healing anyone, so uh, coincidence. Okay. Oh, the X-Files theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're coming back into this bit though. Because oh, I'm full health, there we oh. go. The clean but, again, good work on the scouts out of beast mode. Uh, both Funz and, Funz and Arka did a huge amount of work there. Like, both both teams was the scouts are really, really, really strong. And we're going to be seeing on this fight now. Grab really? a. Managed to get out though. I mean, the, it's kind of people back and forth. It's like half the team in, half the team out for five guys. Both soldiers going down though for beast mode. So have to be thinking about whether they want to hold this or not. And they decide to back out to mid. But both teams are 100% important. Yeah, I got really confused there. I didn't know where the like. Five guys was planning to be. They just seem to be a bit spread. They get force. The exchange happens quite quickly. It's looking like a lot of flashing for five guys back in fries, but that forces the flash onto the de oh, deli. But no, Kalei gets cleaned up. Now Sills gets another kill onto Crayon, and that's the third one down for Burgers and Fries. Chris cleaning up the fourth. The fifth follows quickly, and Mac the only survivor. I don't, just know, collapsed upon. I don't know whether you saw a grabber, but oh my god, this guy is insane. Like, his, his movement, like, he was just jumping for his life on that mid. Like, he managed to, like, semi surf a rocket to, like, Cafe, and then Jordy wasn't able to chase him because the rest of the players are there to protect. So, yeah, Beast Road having huge plays right now, especially in this sort of, like, middle area. They're dry picturing this in though. Grabber walks in, like, BM wise. Oh, and he gets picked up for it. God, that was no, great. No, they him. deserve that. They yeah, 100% deserve huge that. BM. Oh, Colin, cleaning up Chris with the arrow. Still the only survivor of a, a very cheeky push out of beast mode. I think that's I think that's their mantra. It's just that they, they try and beast every single push. Even yeah. if it's a dry push. It's win and, every uh, DM fight. That beast uh, got cut up and uh, put in a burger by uh, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. <laughs> Why are they called that? <laughs> I don't know, we've got the American flag as well, just to go with it. But here we go, they're coming into this mid area. Got this uh, Uber ad, got uh, Sills is kind of jumping out there. We're gonna go through this cafe area, but they lose Opti! Huge rocket from, uh... Oh no, is this Geordie? Oh no, they lose two already! What's going on? No, they have... Losing back is gonna be a big impact. Oh god! Oh, just gets that shot on the crayon. No! Oh, oh there's a soldier! <laughs> what?! Grabber's so chasing the kill. Oh, he always gets the arrow. Grabber's leading the charge, oh, the medic behind. leads the charges. What's going on? Back out from oh, the no. <laughs> Oh no! gets in again! Oh, oh no. Oh my lord. He's spamming the beast mode mind as well. It's uh, they're unstoppable. Grumpy, they're unstoppable. It does, it does feel like beast mode are having fun with it, but it's just so scrappy from everyone. It's, it's beautifully scrappy. Teams. I think they thrive though. They thrive in the yeah, scrap. Yeah, hundred percent. These thrive in the scrap. Uk uh, in Highlander, I know, thrives in the scrappy fight, and that is just where he's best at. But he's using his brain here. He's getting his back out, so he's making huge plays for his team. So I don't know. Beast mode is going on at the moment. Yeah, I feel like Optim and App are trying to play very, very tight, whilst Uk and Funs are just having fun. They're just <laughs> going wherever they sure. can. And yeah. as it's happened, they are cleaning up some players on this mid, and Uka's going to clean up Crayon, and that's th four players down for five guys. Just uh, one guy left, I guess, by that mass. And, oh, I'm sorry. I'm really <laughs> sorry. Is that a pun? Yes. And I'm Ouch. sorry. My soul. Hurts. They're almost trying to spam in there right now. I mean, they got this. Although, Kalei did stay alive there, which is pretty important, so he's obviously good. I say that, one comes in. Oh, Sills! Oh, with Nelly. That's awful for five guys and so good for beast mode. They're gonna try and go to cover. Wait, there's a. <laughs> there's a yeah, hot yeah, like dodgy kill. Yes. <laughs> what a what a what a crazy I, match. I don't, I like I don't that. really that know why Kalade was like that far forwards on ninety eight percent, like ninety percent. Like if that was me, I would have been like way further back. Just being like, yo, can we just build this? Because like they're gonna like come in and stomp, and then have a defensive Uber. Uh, is there a, what's there another map after this? Or oh, of course. Map? Yeah, granary. it's Granary. Oh, I love Granary. I is love Granary so much. I'm guessing no, that's I, a meme. I love it. No, you don't. <laughs> It's... Oh, I despise Granary, man. Mate, it's such a good soldier map. I love it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soldier um, play, that's right, play. 
But I mean, you know, you've said yourself that this is a better soldier map. And so far, the soldiers have been really in the favor of beast mode, and Chris has been going like everywhere, and Souls has been doing some decent bombs in as well. So, if they keep up that momentum, especially after this win already, they seem to be in a good mood, then uh, they'll probably take this one as well. I I personally feel like if Opti and Af can get control of um, their crates as quickly as possible and deny the bombs or any sort of place coming out of Chris and Souls. It could be a really good opportunity for Five Guys, but we are going live on this second map between Five Guys, Burgers and Fries and Beast Mode for Season 36, Week 2 of Div 1 by the wonderful Critzcast doing the production right now. And we're coming into this mid and Delhi and Mac opting to go with a really high play. And Crayon going for the bomb, trying to deal in Pops plays in the air. So much chaos going down. Grabber does end up getting cleaned up. Jordi and Clay staying alive. Scout of Uktika goes in, tries to get another frag after the one he just got onto Mac, but no, that mid going to five guys. Wow, that was a. Uh, I don't know, you start off with this sort of demo exchange, and then, like, I don't know, Grabber just had so much pressure on him. There was like two or three people just starting to look at him, and then he managed to get picked up after sort of jumping around on the crates for a bit. But yeah, Clay staying alive there, big out here, so uh, I'm gonna try and walk this in after they regroup with him. Really, it's going to be how they decide to play play this last that's really going to decide Beast Mode's ability to, to to turn this around right now. Because if Five Guys plays perfectly, like I'd, I'd expect some sort of pipe push. Like they're rotating right now to look look at going through pipe, and I I'd see that working the best for them. Yet yeah, they're going in right now. There is no heavy on the pipe, which I would be expecting. But they get that central gun down nice and quickly. They should be getting down funds as soon Captain. as possible, but they're going okay, not enough space for themselves and they're gonna oh, get cleaned God. up, they should have got rid of the heavy as soon as possible because that heavy is just a meat sack of damage and he is just gonna start cleaning up players and that's exactly what happened. I don't know, like, this wasn't a situation where you have, like, the heavy that far back, and there's, like, there wasn't really anyone, like, on the point. I mean, you got, like, the soldier can just bomb back in, but if you get, like, one buff scout on it for a bit, it kind of forces the engagement near the point, which the heavy's kind of terrible at taking. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe they should have just got some scout time and forced it to play a bit closer, but either way, think, nice defense from Beast Mode. I think the, the problem with the heavy on last, if you're trying to, to attack it and you leave it out, ooh, Matt getting a nice little double kill, and... The med, most importantly, creating again Jesus. opportunities for his team. They're playing a lot better now. Uh, okay, tries to find something. Oh, he gets one meat shot to play. Uh, give me some web in that one, but yeah, big plays from Matt there. Actually, turned up this map it seems, but Chris could be trying to jump around for his life. Oh, gets picked up there by the spam rocket. So, well, I mean, Five Guys, I don't know, definitely sort of refocusing for this map it seems. They, they do seem a lot stronger. Like, I feel like a lot of people agree that Process and Sunshine kind of feel the same in some ways. Like, they kind of lean. Oh, okay. Uh, they lean a certain playstyle. Whilst this is working really nicely. And oh my god, they oh my are god. so deep. Max is going in, cleaning up Delhi. He wants to take this forward, knowing that he just has that potential as a demo. There is a bit of a soldier fight happening, but Crayon easily going to pick up his I Irish compadre in Chris. And Jordy on top, going to clean Ooh. that up as well. Uber. Ooh. It's gonna change. No, it's not. It's not going to not gonna be worth it. They're surrounded unless the respawns can come in. Oh, no. There's there so much time on the point. I would be amazed if Beast Mode were able to hold that. But yeah, that that would have been one of Grabber's probably best plays he'd ever done at that point. Uh, <laughs> that was really cool. It was still a really good play from him. Yeah. Like a really, really good play. But um, I'm, you know, I'm super surprised at how already we are seeing a difference. In five guys. They do. They do seem a lot more consistent. They're playing a lot, lot cleaner and quicker. I find like if you play a quick granary against any team, they're going to struggle with it. Delhi's one of taking this forward though, looking to deal some damage. He hasn't managed to deal too much. He is going to get cleaned up, but Max going to also be the exchange frag as well. As now Chris is going to go down. There's a lot of exchanges happening between players, and Funds comes in, gets clean. Is going to be able to win this two v one. Oh, Silt is still in the game with six HP. He's going to be able to get that pack. So it's Soldier. 
versus Scout. Now it's just Scout versus Soldier and Scout. He's gonna back out. He knows he can't win that as Jordan does go down. The Sylph's getting that pack. And Beast Mode taking this mid. Yeah, both of them are going down there, so they're trying to regroup, but grabbing a bit of an ounce since he spawns and got some of the heal. But yeah, I mean, Silver's playing that mid pretty well. Fun's going to be pressuring over the point as well. Uh, let's try and win that one out. But yeah, I still would agree with the point that um, Five Guys still seem to be a bit more focused. I mean, Fun's going down there already, actually, Mac, with uh, some decent sticks. Oh my god! <laughs> Did he get caught out as well? Oh, I do apologize, my uh, TF2 froze for. Oh, oh my god, he done that, Mac! What oh, the hell? Woo! Okay, yes. Mac is activated voice. <laughs> beast mode. He's playing beast mode in the chat. <laughs> wow. Mac serving up some beautiful, sticky and pipe damage, but funds. Now on Sniper in forward spawn. Is he gonna do anything? Nope, he's not. He's just gonna sit there and the rest of the team got in. And now the revitalized, much, much quicker, cooking with oil, five guys. I'm keeping with the puns, I do not care. Going in, Mac's gonna bomb in nicely. I love this play, where they're going in, they're pushing, creating that space, now they're gonna push out funds. Completely separated grabber is, he's gonna get cleaned up. Now they just need to put time on point. They can't let any rotation come out. Chris is gonna come in, bomb, take that high ground. And now this is kind of risky, but Obti and Mac are gonna just pass in between them. And that's 2-0. God, where was this Mac last game? <laughs> that's insane. Like, he just does these mad stick jumps, like low stick jumps. The surf over the ground, like it's nothing. Just gets into their garage and then the destroys them. The Kato jumps. It's all Kato jumps. Yeah. Like, he's top scoring and Delhi's bottom scoring. It's like the complete reverse of last map. Yeah, Mac is just activated right now. He's... He's taken a deep breath and uh, I think he's looked at himself in the mirror and just said we're going to dominate <laughs> this map. And already taking up that high ground on top of here. Crayon waiting for an opportunity to now bomb in as Grabber is going to be separated. Popped up. Oh! Nice. Oh my god. And Kalade also went down as well. So a lot of exchanges. But Jordi also put him in work. Delhi's super low. Jordi now has to deal with three players. He's going to get that pack though. Gonna bomb back up the chasing of the scout. Oh, Ooh, nice funds. Rocket. Nearly going down. Yeah, good rocket, Jordy. Fuck. It doesn't feel though. like the same five guys. Yeah, no. It's like the, the energy's there now. They're really focused. I mean, maybe it's just the comfort pin. Maybe Granary is one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know what? We're pretty comfortable on this map. We could probably take uh, the better fights and that sort of thing. But I mean, once again, Matley in the charge. Very risky, actually, coming into a lot of spam here. Oh, he goes down though. Maybe a bit of complacency coming in. They lose two. Mid's going to Baloney again. Ran out by the scout. Khalid goes down. Oh, it's a travesty of a push by guys. <laughs> also, look at what Grabber's got in his hands right now. That crit is a crit screen. screen. Oh, no. Yes. I don't even think they're going to use it. They don't need it. No. They're just going to walk in. They cleared out. Five guys. And beast mode. Probably feel Back out of the game. Back out, of, back out of the game with the week. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't really a fan of that push out from Matt there. He should have opened the shirt, sinned the spam, and then respected it and then gone back. But nah, he was in the energy mood. He was like, yeah, let's go frag, and then just got cleaned up. Unfortunate. I think, yeah, Mac needs to rein his neck in a bit there because <laughs> he got locked off. Yeah. But he's uh he's, he's back he's back on this mid. He's taking a lot of damage. Probably gonna play a bit more passive now. With the demos that's now extended, Matt goes down and Sylves gets on to Kalade. Now he's just trying to clean up with the rest of his team. No one has gone down for Beast Mode. Fun's cleaning up that nice two kills. And the final one being Af going down. And that is a wipe with only losing Delhi for Beast Mode. And they're already going forward. They're holding that W key. They're, they're ready, taking second. I say this many times with Granary. Granary has seven points. I feel like Yard in itself can feel like its own point. And the fact that Beast Mode are just mitigating that every time, and as well as um, Five Guys, is so important. They're climbing up now. I think Grabber's going to want to take a pipe Uber with his team. What sort of setup have we got? Got Opton in the top classes. Yeah, we've got a sniper and a heavy. As the Uber does go in, Delhi applying on to Kalade. Now he goes down. Now they need to be cleaning up that heavy again. 
and they do manage to clean that heavy up. Now they've got some just some key fights to have, some exchanges, but they've got the numbers. They can stay in, and they're going to take that round, drawing it out very quickly. It's kind of an interesting mid there from um, from B Smoke is like. Most of the way into that mid, they kind of just regrouped onto the point and played as four people near the point. Whereas uh, Five Guys kind of just went around their own crates, um, and they kind of got spammed out. I think they had the vision, didn't really see the bombs coming in. Um, maybe just a bit overcommitted there, but I don't know. I'll just see if they take that same approach. But I mean, Matt constantly trying to take the high ground. Yeah, and I, I like that. You don't see that that often on Granary. You see a lot of kind of how Belly's playing right now, and it's working for him. He's not being pressured too much. Chris now coming in from behind onto Clay. Going to clean him up with a cheeky little pop-up as the pressure now is going to be on Grabber. Grabber's still alive. Delhi does get a oh, frag and tries to go for the half side. Go cheap, but he's not going to get it, and Grabber goes down. Unfortunate. Well, Beast Mode have definitely rethought their uh, their mid strat, but I mean, they do, yeah, th that grab pick is going to be a bit of a difference here, difference maker. So it means they can't just sort of like double key straight onto this last point. Um, and there we go, got Clay already building there, so a bit of a slight add. So I might even be able to try and repush this, but Chris is kind of lurking in this top space. The, uh, the old drop down soldier plays can be beautiful. Coming out of lunchbox and oh no. Chris has been found. He's being chased. <laughs> He's... Oh Ooh, my god! Where did that, that come still... from? That was just spam from, from Shutter. <laughs> oh, Chris on the heavy! Oh, <laughs> but it, wait, where's the heavy? He's on heavy, but he's not on Thomas Lab. Like, they know he's on heavy. <laughs> oh no. Obviously, he gets the, he gets the pick, though. And they're already two down here. Are they the... doing crits heavy? No way, do they get laser beamed here. No way. The Garant's gonna get Uber, though. Oh, oh and it no. dies. No, that's not good. The two. Oh my god, it's a two! He's not dead! Grab still alive! <laughs> what? What are no looking at? No way! <laughs> no! They're gonna win the round! Did they not? Heavy push. He's just solo pushing in against like two soldiers. Oh, there we go, he goes down. Oh my god, what is going on? This is Div 1 Madness. Chris, Chris is so diving into the, into the fray and dying, but... I don't know how they didn't... Did they not realise that it was a crit? Like, the, the minigun is glowing bright blue and two people die to that. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> oh, so, why did the people come into the Uber? Like, you've just Ubered, like, someone come to your medic and let him flash you, it doesn't make any sense. You can just kill the heavy in, like, two seconds. Oh, nice trap from Daddy, though, oh my god. I'm like, Yeah, great. I don't know why they were flash like crazy and just clearing them up. Like, if it's an Uber exchange, I understand, but... Jordy, oh! Nice rocket onto Fanta. <laughs> oh my god, he tricked but... your massive play no. from Jordy. He oh gets Delhi. Yeah. But again, the is heavy. Has he switched to the Tommy Slab? Yeah, he switched to the Tommy Slab now. Bought the Ubers in. Oh, they they haven't got another crit, have they? The Grabbers has left? Grab They've got left another left. Chris! Uh, no. Oh no. They're trying to they're, pressure it. Do they know? They're gonna know. use they're gonna use the the, the crits on Chris! He doesn't need anything! Oh no. no. Are they, oh, they're training them up though, they're coming through this choke point, they're going to be trying to ramming the damage down. Oh, the, the soldier comes in behind, Minecraft's the medic down. And there we go, Crit's not going to be uh, going to be finding that, but Uka's just going to be sort of hiding in this uh, sort of hay pile uh, on this left of the shore. But there we go, I mean, the managed to defend it. I feel like Uka should probably stop memeing at this point. It, it's 2-2, two -two. like, they can still come back from this. Uka's working in behind! No one's turned around! Wait, what? Ooh. Almost gets the med. Almost, and they're super low. Funz knows this, and I thought I thought he was going to come out of um, out of the little door of garage, but oh, pressure coming out of five guys. And there are two players down, but no, he's going to get no. Oh, grab it! He's duking and jiving, gets that rhythm and stays alive. They they force well, they use Uber through the choke, and then they drop their demo, even though they're just used. Like, Delhi got that, I mean, decent play from Delhi, to be fair, just trying to just bomb that choke and get that, but, yeah, they just drop Mac, and then they're not able to get any sort of pushing power off that, so they have to back out now, and grab us on a, like, 20% out at least. I'm really passive for now. 
fucking grubbers. Well, they're trying to walk in through the show. They're trying to clear the sticks. Right. Sticks with debt, though. Contested. Trying to spawn them out. Close play from the soldier. Jordy not managing to find it, though, as uh, Booker gonna be holding W. And Beast Mode will be holding W right now. Delhi going in. Oh, Chris God. now. Oh, the rocket! Oh, Khaled goes down to funds. So much time already on the point. <laughs> Wait, did he just taunted before? Grab it. So confident. <laughs> he taunted so as confident. the soldier back to front of the point. <laughs> He's like, I ain't having any of this. BM already that, coming in. That was. That was confidence. That was. That was beast mode. That was the definition. Is it? Is it? Oh, wait, are they stealing the monkey mode thing? Did you hear about that? What? Wait, um, everyone gets Ma Yeti taunt or something. Yeah, Max team, one of his previous teams, they all had Yeti taunts. It was with Torrent oh, on it. With, you know, Torrent sucking toes. But anyway, no one's sucking toes right now. Everyone's concentrating quite well. This Crayon is behind, creating a bit of a distraction. He's now going for uh, bombing, but he's going to get cleaned up. But with Delhi and Chris down, three players down. Aft just kind of walks in. He decides to go with the one v one. Oh my god! And shows him how it's done. And it, oh, the sword. Oh, they off the Uber. And grab it. No, Kalei's oh, no. gonna get oh cleaned my by Aft. No. Did you, did that sword actually just change that mid outcome? Yes, completely changed. Oh my it. god! Okay. Grabba, he's on fire, man. This this man is on fire. He's got no fear. Grabba is playing some. Uh, Interesting TF2 medic medicinal class. He's playing aggressive, like Kaleid was playing the aggressive uh, medicinal class last game, but I feel like Grab is doing it more and just duking and jiving, getting kills where it, where he needs to. Well, not kills, but source. That's all that matters. Yep. Maybe saw OP. Please nerf once again. This is kind of interesting poke out though from the flank here on the uh, five guys. They managed to find Chris though. Bit, uh, delved a bit too deep there, <laughs> getting picked off. But we've got some sticks that was on the point right now from Delhi as they're, they're coming from this launch box area. As uh, Clay's coming up to 75%. So a bit of an ad here. If they take this in, they need to be fast here though, I think. Yeah, no, this is this is a this is a tighter Uber advantage than they than the last last game when I said they needed to go in. They're not gonna do it. They just no, they decided that. Yeah, could you imagine if they had an exchange? But they are oh, they going for the five man, oh four God. man sack? They get the they get the dispenser. Push. Huge push. Go. Massive. Although they don't, use, they, yeah, they, don't use, they don't use Uber there. That's so okay. It should be okay. But I mean, they give them a lot of space. Oh no, they got Chris as well. I thought all they got was the dispenser then. But they're going for the Uber exchange right now, and it's so late on grabber. So bad. No, this is not good. Oh, Funz misses a lot of shots. Oh, he, nope. doesn't matter. He manages to get the two that count. Oh, no. He does get cleaned up though. The overcommittal. No, they're getting collapsed on. Getting, and he misses yeah, the rocket onto the demo. Oh. Five guys, burgers and fries, now showing. The gun? There's a gun! Oh. That was close. Oh. It's I so didn't even see them sneak that gun up. What? No! <laughs> Get two points of justice kills. Yeah. Oh, Tanks and silver. <laughs> Are you sure we're not casting Highlander right now? It feels like it. With the amount of heavy <laughs> and NG and stuff we've seen, yeah. Well, you you we mentioned it before. Unka is a Highlander player, so he's 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 on that wavelength. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen him play heavy or NG though. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's a well, new you thing. Have now. For, uh, yeah, I have now. That's a new thing for Spectrum. Oh, Jordy managed to find one there, but uh, I don't know. I think this is still. Oh, actually, never mind. Two down right now. Four v five happening. And they have this Uber. They might try and end here. I've got this gun to deal with though. Yeah, they they wanted to equalize. Oh, the gun's gone. Yeah, it dis disappears. Yeah, I I, I think I could switch him onto Scout. I, oh, why, no. What? The big throws coming in from beast mode, the complacency. I feel like they should just focus again and try and get the map rather than meme, but hey ho. Wait, what? Confused? Yes. Why, why did you swap out there? No, because the gun was on no one health sense. and it, I don't think he was close enough to heal it in fairness. So. Oh. But yeah, is it, what it is. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like beast mode is just trying... It was like half health on my screen, so oh, right, okay. it, it like confused the hell of me. Maybe a bit of lag. 
me either way. Mid underway, Matt gets to take a lot of spam once again on this crate. Huge bomb from the soldiers. Massive square box. Crane oh. finds it. Mm. Oh lord. Beast mode. Cleaning house. Okay, and funds pushing forward. Okay, oh my he's god, get Opti cleaned. finds that. <laughs> yeah. He's a beast. Op Opti's got DM for days, man. Chris cleaning up Kalei. Really close though, Kalei almost cleaned him up. Like, Kalei's more known as a, uh, to me at least, as a soldier player. So he's mm. going to play a lot. Like, I find, find that when soldiers and scout mains play, play, uh, play medic, they tend to they tend to play a lot more aggressive and like to take 1v1s. It's such, such, like, a medic main will always try and surf away, but Kalei seems to want to just take the 1v1s, and I love it. I think it's that case of like, you know, if you know you're going to go down and there's someone else alive who can maybe clean up, it's like that thing of, well, trying to get out as much damage. But either way, Uber comes in now, gets guns still up, but not really focused on the gun. Clay managed to live here. Maybe trying to heal us going. Delhi not remembering his Highlander tactics of uh, putting down three sticks and then deading. For some reason, just debts individual sticks. Uh, this feels bad, man. But there we go. Clay could be healing up his heavy and they've got a defense going. Yeah, they have, and they're staying oh, on maybe. Top of that pipe. Oh, Opti dropping down. Looking to clean up, he just gets cleaned up himself. Oh, no. So much time on the point, and it's four three. Yeah, trying to fight two scouts at the same time. Not very nice as a heavy, I can tell you that. So uh, there we go. That defense will be falling apart. I think that was actually a four v three for a few seconds there as well. So not much to find it, but maybe these beast might have actually refocused now and uh, managed to find a round there. Um, so it's four three, like you said. But I think they need to keep the momentum and finish the map. This is a much closer map though, and I feel like. There are some really good plays coming out of both teams, and I'm just yep. loving the aggression out of the demos. Like, we, I want more Mac. I want more aggressive Mac plays. Definitely. They're just so good to watch. But right now, Mac oh. is actually going to be cleaned up by Delhi, his counterpart, who's also an incredibly aggressive player. And in that, he's in garage, Ass going to get cleaned up, and it's looking good for Beast Mode. Jordy taking a lot of damage, he's going to get cleaned up as well. Clayed going down, wow. and that's a wipe on mid. Yeah, six for absolutely nothing there. Um, not a desirable outcome, uh, so I don't know. Knowing Beast Mode sort of passed with this game already, should be quite an easy round take here with this full uber advantage, but I don't know, let's see if there's some sort of miracle play going on as the gun is going to be trying to be built again. It really depends on if Opti can, uh, can, if we can get that key pick, like just one good pick, on on Cypher, it'll be great, but they're rotating onto the other side. They've already come in. They've already lost two players on the last with the Uber. They've lost their sentry gun. Mag goes down, Kalei down. Ah! He's now against the world. He gets <laughs> Delhi. But it's not going to be enough as Beast Mode. 5 3, two rounds. They, they have this habit of memeing, taking two rounds. Memeing, taking two rounds. Well, they've got, they got a schedule going at least, that's the thing. Yeah, they're consistent. Let's see if they're consistent this mid again. Let's see if they can 6 0, uh, six -0 the mid. This, this started off so strong for Five Guys, and you kind of mentioned it. It's almost like they downloaded the strats that Five Guys have, and Beast Mode are just. They're, they're so confident they can meme some rounds, and then just take two rounds. Like, it's nothing to them. As Sylphs bombs in, huge damage onto Kalade and Mac getting the frags. And Chris again, these rockets as well. What, what can you say? What can you say to this? Just beast mode, just performing really, really nicely on these mids. Almost clearing house again. And Obti gets spotted as he's backing out. I feel like they were maybe better off going for like a double soldier bomb onto the meds. Because like, I mean, if they go grabber, at least they've got some sort of defense they can kind of come back with and then re-push if they want. But without getting that grabber pick, it's like really hard to defend this. And now Kalei's sort of just on the high ground, going to get focused down. Uh, I mean, there's, there's only four people in this push. <laughs> for these modes. And they're doing it. It really feels like, oh, never mind. They're not doing it as Sills comes in. Oh, can he hit that air <coughs> shot? I didn't see. Yes, he did. Wow. <laughs> just about saved the point. Where's Chris? Oh no, he's jumping for his life. He's gonna try and poke he's gonna him. do it. Nah, he's not. Oh, the spawners are up. Oh. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Max is spamming the chat. 
the points with some spam. They're gonna try and recap this right now. Never mind. Try to contest this. But they lose Chris though. Uh, actually, unless that was a bit earlier, but either way. Trying to stick up this, this shutter. Even it was as well. Come out of this uh, Z area. Just one off. No, no traps from Daily this time. Big bombing from, from Mac. And the heavy comes out from Rumka. <laughs> the heavy oh, of the soldier for the air. Oh no. Creon bombed in, got a uh, nice little frag onto Grabber, and Chris is going to back out. And again, like the heavy comes out, the memes come out, and <laughs> it's five a repetition. guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a repetition. Oh, well, they got 100 percent here. I mean, there's only five minutes left. I mean, it is doable to get two, three rounds of five minutes easily, but. Uh, I don't think Beastwood will let them do that. Okay, this is a mega early U burn. There's no one in here <laughs> at all. Okay. The way out. Was I think they thought that. No, no, I just didn't know. They thought they were closer. Oh, God. Comms, people, comms. Let's take a shot at Jordy. They're right pushing now. Oh, God. Jordy just slowed They do not it. care. They got Daddy, though. So that's a good start. The Sentry Rescue is up, good. though. They're going to clean him up. And now they've got soldiers behind. Are they going to be able to clean? No, Kalein goes down. Chris is super low, but so is five guys. They just go for the point. They and double bomb the medic post Uber. Bit of a questionable play there, but there we go. Why not? And that that Uka gun went down like really fast as well. Like I, he wasn't able to repair it like mid animation. So there we go. Probably not a meme round this time. Maybe they meme round again and then they stop it, but I mean, three minutes, not long left for it. No, there is. There is opportunity for them to bring this into a golden cow. And I hope. I hope this season. I'm pretty sure they're using the 15 minute timer because the last time there was a golden cap on this, I was here for 50 minutes. So uh, that's not going to happen though, as they've got two picks, Delhi and Sylves. And looking to bring them forward. I feel like five guys are feeling a little bit confident. They want to take this to a golden cap at least. Maybe take the win. Yeah, but they lose their man. Unfortunately, Clay gets bombed out there. But, and Georgie sits on his path for some health. But Chris is going to try and come out the the mid for now. But there's not really many people in here. They try and come back in with their med now. But still got to try and fight this Uber. So they might just try and chill in garage for now. No, they're coming out. Interesting. Nah, they're going to come out through their choke. Sylves bombs in deep, looking onto Mac. And he's going to get Mac with Chris's help. And that's going to mean that they can maybe barrel field forward. What is the... Who's behind? Wait, what? They swap sides. <laughs> I don't know what Team Creator are doing. <laughs> I think they're going to... They're going What? God, Kalaid is Kalaid is so screwed. Kalaid is so screwed. I mean, now they've got two players behind. This is not good. They're getting pushed onto the last, and they're just finally coming in. Uh, pff, all right. Yeah. Qu questionable players from Team Crazy. <laughs> they just NGL. um. They just cost themselves the map with that play. There's yeah. You, you can't get two rounds in two minutes. No. That's well, so I, unfortunate for uh, four or five guys. I'm kind of surprised Uka isn't heavying this mid, but there we go. Nothing, nothing's better than a heavy to mid. Especially if it's snake water. But right now, on Granary, man gets cleaned up. There's a lot of fighting happening. Chris manages to get onto Kalei. Yeah, oh GG's God. have been called in chat. Delhi just destroyed a soldier there as well. He's yeah, just feeding yeah. themselves. White. Yeah, it's gonna be scrappy from here. Yeah, GG's have been called. It's been really well played by Beast Mode though, like even through the kind of the memes and stuff, like I mean, Grabber has played exceptionally well, like stayed alive in many situations where he probably should have died, and yeah, Fun's just been on the heels and been new, was just cleaning up absolutely everyone. Mac had a, a good run at it though, so, you know, shout out to Matt when he got a <laughs> decent play in and they got some rounds in fairness, so. Uh, yeah, Granny, I, I think, more of a comfort pick for the five guys. Yeah, and I feel like, I feel like Chris 
was putting in a lot of work as well for his team. But Mac had the opportunity and I just feel like a couple of little mistakes were all that happened in regards to this. I feel like if they didn't have those players behind, they could have maybe turned it around mm. in that mid fight. Maybe. I mean, there's, there was that chance, yeah, exactly. It's, it's always that chance thing, and they need to try and play for that chance, but unfortunately it didn't happen, but there we go. There's a 7-4 win. But no, that's a congratulations to Beast Mode for taking the two maps. Commiserations to five guys at Burgers and Fries. We're all going to wrap this up now, so I just want to say a big shout out to everyone who played. Shout out to you, Buck, being my co-caster. We who from production, as always. Shout out for Critzcast to holding this. Uh, have a look at all of the socials. We've got you know our Twitter, Patreon, even our merch. Get on our Discord, and also uh, thanks to our spo sponsor Antlion Audio, which I'm probably going to get a ad for at some point. But thank you everyone for uh, joining and uh, watching this game. Uh, I've been Grumpy Coy, joined by Buck, and we have, and we are going to go now. Bye bye. See you later. Hi, old Beaver. Away!